Thank you. What do you want to do? It is pretty hot. Let's date. You want it? No, not like that. Really active dating. Oh, so you want to get active, huh? Oh my god. Radioactive dating is a method of determining the age of objects or materials using the decay rate of radioactive components such as carbon-14. Oh! <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. okay, this is the way you do. You put a couple drops of carbon-14 and you just wait. Item. Alright guys, this is a mold fossil, a fossilized impression made in a substrate. This is a cast fossil, it's formed when a mold is filled in. This is a trace fossil, a fossilized nest, gastrolith, burrow, or footprint. This is a true form fossil, fossils of the actual animal or animal parts. One example of a homology is the human and the cat. The human and cat both have limbs for them to walk with in a similar skeletal structure. But as you can see, the cat walks on four legs while the human walks on two. You come on two knees with more than two knees Finding that it's all too easy to be an octopus eye and a human eye are an example of an analogous structure. Vertebrates and octopi develop the camera-like eye on their own. In the vertebrae eye, the nerve fibers pass in front of the retina. There is also a blind spot where the nerves pass through the retina. In the vertebrae eye, number 4 represents the blind spot, which is missing from the octopus eye. In the octopus eye, 1 and 2 represent the nerve fibers and retina. In the vertebrae eye, number 1 represents the retina, and number 2 is the nerve fibers. In both eyes, Number three represents the optic nerve. Embryology is the study of the development of embryos. An embryo is an unborn or unhatched offspring in one of the earliest stages of its development. Serial structures, such as limbs, are usually identical in the embryo, but specialized and diverged as an adult. Different species in the same class, such as mammals, often have very similar embryos, even if the adult forms are quite different. In the diagram, a lizard embryo is to the far left, followed by a tortoise, a pig, and a human embryo. You can see how similar they look in the beginning and how they grow distinct features as they develop. Together. 